Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. Going to be using a team right here with an Assault Vest Mew on it, so the idea of the set right here is to unexpectedly tank a lot of special attacks and then be able to weaken them with this coverage right here for another win condition on the team. So Psychic is able to pretty easily wear down Pokemon like Toxapex and Amoongus, which can help out our Ash Greninja right here. And then uh, because of the AV, we can take it from stuff like Coco. And after one Psychic, we can go ahead and put that in range of our Tornadus right here, which makes Hurricane a lot more spammable. And then we got Volt Switch for Momentum and Ice Beam, just as our next best coverage move right here to help out against Lando, Zagard, Opposing Guard Chomp, and whatnot. So really looking forward to using this. Now, the one thing that it kind of struggles with is Heatran. That Pokemon likes to switch into a lot, especially if it is Spidef, so decided to go ahead and add a Mega Guard Chomp right here because we can go ahead and chip it down with a Volt Switch, get a Mega Guard Chomp, and SD up as they're forced out from the Heatran. So that's a really nice scenario that I do see coming up. And another thing that I do want to do is catch a Pelipper turn one with my Volt Switch right here. If we can go ahead and do that, that would be very cool. We Oko uh, like offensive sets, but I don't believe we Oko any sort of Spidef variant or even maybe max HP, so... It'll be interesting. We got Scarf Bulu right here, which is not a Bulu that I usually ever run, but it does provide us a nice Ash Greninja check right here in terms of resisting the dual stab, as well as just checking it with our speed boost from the Scarf. We got Megahorn too as a means of weakening AV Tangrowth for me, which is a nice tech. We got Heatran right here as a Fairy Resist and Rocker. Torn, as I said, just spams Hurricane and is a Defogger for the team. And then finally Specs Ash Greninja with Surf and Spikes, just to be able to hazard stack alongside our Heatran right here. So that's going to be the team. It'll be down below in the description. Hopefully Mew can put in a lot of work. And let's go ahead and get into the games. Alright, I am here with the first game of the live. Mega Garchomp does a ton of work right here, but I may not Mega Evolve it just to make sure I can outspeed Mimikyu because if it is Jolly, that will outspeed me right here. In terms of my lead matchup, I'm thinking he may lead off with, well, it looks like it's some sort of Sash Lando plus just Hyper Offense right here, so I'm assuming Lander's T would be the lead. Ash Greninja is gonna have a ton of fun right here, but in terms of lead, I'll just lead off here with Mew. As my opponent leads off with Cortana. Now, the only way this could knock me out is with a Banded Knockoff, and I don't know if that's something my opponent would have. I could go Hard Torn here, and I think I will go Hard Torn instead of staying in, just because I don't feel as though it's worth taking a banded knockoff or life orb knockoff. Sort of the same thing right there. So what this allows me to do now is just go ahead and click. I don't want to get trapped with a Tyranitar, so I'll go right here for a U-turn. I don't think you stay in ever, because this is a really big threat to my team. I would not agree with staying in, but I feel like my opponent might just leave it out right here, to be honest. I mean, Torn is here for this Pokemon. If he traps me with T-Tar, that's really bad. Because then this Pokemon gets to have fun. So I'm going to U-turn here. I knew my opponent would stay in, but I really couldn't let T-Tar come out right there. It's a little bit annoying. Let's see what I can do here. I can, I'm can. i assuming he'll go for maybe a Smart Strike or something along those lines. How important is Heatran? Heatran can help out against the Mawile, but I feel like Heatran's to play on a Smart Strike. And Can I live a Life Orb Sacred Sword? I'm going to go ahead and calc this right here just to be safe. A little bit annoying that he stayed in right there. I don't agree with that play at all. So uh, let's say he's Life Orb and not Spitanium Z. This is just max HP Heatran, so let's put an offensive spread with max HP in. I live most of the time, and I think I'm just going to stay in here and try to pressure him with my Magma Storm. As he just goes for knockoff, ideally I hit this attack and get rid of this giant threat. Maybe I should have gone for Earth Power, that would have killed too, but uh, it's okay. I'll go right here into my Torn on the Sacred Sword. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't Earth Power right there, I kind of got ahead, but that's okay. I can go ahead and bring this Pokemon out now, and uh, this time I'll just go ahead and click Hurricane. And uh, knock out the Cortana finally, so could have been a little bit better had I just clicked Earth Power, but I think we got out in this sort of the same situation. Brings out his Tyranitar here, which uh, I don't know if I can... I'm just going to try to U-turn out, maybe he'll actually not click Pursuit and maybe click something like a Rocks. Garchomp can come out, but I feel as though that's kind of worth keeping at full health, just because it can take one hit from something like Drill. I'm thinking maybe Bulu here could just be a overall better play, is what I'm thinking, because he doesn't switch into Wood Hammer all too well. Yeah, sucks that I did not click Earth Power. I don't know what I was thinking, but I don't think Surf is going to knock him out from this range. I'll go Bulu here, as uh, st Rocks are going to go up. So I get to keep my Torn, which is nice, but I'm probably going to have to defog at some point. In terms of my play here, I'm thinking maybe Wood Hammer is fine. Don't know if they would go hard to Mawile, but... I mean, Grassy Terrain is up, which could mean it's going to be a problem revenge killing that Mawile. Goes Lander's T. I could stay in, but I'm actually going to go Torn here in an attempt to defog, because I don't want Mawile coming out after and SDing up on my minus one Bulu right here, so... And it would be minus two if he's Intimidate, so... 
he could go for U-turn, I know, but I'm hoping we see like a supersonic sky strike. Yeah, so there, he burns the Z-Red there, and it's actually Continental Crush. Interesting attack. Uh, in terms of my play now, I'm thinking uh, maybe I can just bring out Garchomp as maybe a good play. But I think Grand is just a much better option right here, being able to get my Battle Bond. So let's go ahead and uh, just hit him up with the Surf now and get this started right here. So he gives me a Lando. I'm able to go ahead and get my Battle Bond transformation going. I just got to be careful about Mawile. That's the main thing. That's the final threat to me because everything else is going to get really torn apart by Greninja. So let's see what my opponent does here. I'm pretty sure Mawile will die if it comes out now. Goes out into his Excadrill. This could click SD. Uh, I don't actually want it clicking SD. I'd kind of lose. So I'm going to click Surf here on the Earthquake under Grassy Terrain, which I can take. So that's okay with me. I'll go ahead and knock that Pokemon out. L puts him in a little bit tougher spot against Pokemon like Mawile with Sucker Punch, but that's not too big of a deal. All I got to do against Mawile is make sure that my Garchomp is able to handle that. So out comes Mawile. He's kind of forced to Sucker Punch here, but I'll go a Heatran, I think, anyway. I, I think Heatran is maybe a good play, but at the same time, Surf is so free. I'll just go ahead and click Surf and then bring out my Garchomp after. As uh, he makes the correct play and does go for Sucker Punch, but I think in this scenario, I'm fine because I bring out my Garchomp now. What this allows me to do is, uh, let me just make sure that I don't have to Mega to Oko him with Earthquake. Because if I do have to Mega Evolve, it's, I kind of don't have a choice here, so... Let's find this out right now. I'm against Mawile, what, what am I doing? So a uh, regular Garchomp's Earthquake is going to blow this away. So let's go ahead and Earthquake right here and uh, pick that Mon off. This allows me to stay faster than the Mimikyu, which is the main thing that I was making sure of right here. So all I got to do is Earthquake, and then Tapu Bulu with Scarf can easily take this thing on after. Yeah, so it tries to go for SD. It allows me to just Earthquake again here. And then uh, it looks like Mew, unfortunately, will not be able to come out this game, which is a little bit unfortunate. Was hoping we could see it do some work, but I'm able to Earthquake do a really nice amount of damage right there. Uh, it actually just died, so I can bring in Bulu now and in the game, which is uh, very cool for sure. There's no way Tyranitar can take a Wood Hammer, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, hit this up with the Wood Hammer here. And Wood Hammer is accurate, right? Yeah, 100%, okay. Um, and we're able to go ahead and pick up the win right there. So I know I misplayed with my Heatran against the Kurtana early. I kind of uh, messed that up a little bit, but we're able to go ahead and win in the end, which is definitely what matters, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got the next game right here. My opponent is running some sort of mix of balance and offense. Like, he has Garchomp, Tang, I mean, uh, Garchomp, Gren, and Excadrill with the Sandcore, but then he has a lot of bulk with Amoongus, Celesteela, and Hippo. Because of Celesteela and Amoongus, I feel like Bulu is just a very expendable pick. My Pokemon that are going to be doing work are my Garchomp and my Mew right here. In terms of leads, I think Mew is just great against potential Amoongus lead. This could click Spore, which would be uh, very frustrating. But what would I Volt Switch out into to take the Spore? Like, I can go Bulu on it, but... I'm going to Volt Switch to Bulu here. Just on the Spore, because uh, I don't want anything being put to sleep right away, and... I mean, this is going to click Sludge Bomb and do some work. I'll go ahead and double to Torn here. And ideally, he doesn't double Spore. Double Spore would be... Do I risk my Torn? Is, I don't feel like risking Torn on the Spore is not worth it at all. Maybe I just go Heatran here on the Spore. Because if he's switching out, it'll be to Celesteela, right? So... Maybe he wants to scout for Z Zen Headbutt, not quite sure what my opponent's thinking right here. But I've, I kind of got to play around the Spore properly because I, I need to get, maintain momentum too at the same time. If he double Spores right here, great play, but that could be risking me just SDing up in front of him, so I don't know if that's something he's interested in. Goes for HB Fire, I can easily take that attack on, and this allows me to just go ahead and throw off a Taunt here to make sure that he cannot Spore me. And uh, now I get a free Magma Storm off on the Greninja. Damage on Greninja is absolutely amazing. And like I said, Bulu is the most expendable Pokemon because while it can take Spore, it doesn't actually take on anything else. He should know that I'm offensive based on that damage, but I'm clicking Horn Leech anyway here on either Celesteel or Amoongus. As much as I'm so tempted to double out, it's not worth it the way I see it. I feel like I can play around this core properly even without playing too offensively in this situation because... Celesteela or Amoongus is going to come out. Goes Amoongus, okay. It is Helmet, so a little bit annoying right there. So now he's going to click Spore and there's nothing I can do about it. I got to pick my fodder. Garchomp is really nice here. Mew is uh, really solid too, being able to Volt Switch out on Celesteela. Ice Beam the Hippo. Fire Blast this. And uh, yeah, Mew is not the sack. Heatran is not the sack. I feel like maybe my Gren could go down here. But that actually does a ton of work too, so... I don't know, maybe I just let my Tran take the hit. Yeah, I'll go Tran to uh, have that be sleep fodder, and then I'll double to my Torn here. Because Torn kind of covers any switch my opponent may want to make now. Could go back to Grand for sure, but 
I don't know if that's something my opponent would be interested in. Ideally, he's not Stun Spore. Okay, so this might have Toxic, is what I'm thinking, but I'll go for Knockoff here. I don't really mind my Torn getting Toxic due to Regenerator. Just goes for Rock, so I'll go ahead and Defog here on what I'm assuming is going to be a Whirlwind. Oh, he either goes for Whirlwind or he goes Gran on the pretty obvious Defog. Which, I don't even know if Gran knocks me out from 82%, so... That could be good. The problem is my Bulu is going to get 2-hit KO'd by his Hydro Pump now. So, a little bit of a tougher scenario here. He gave me his lefties, though. No, it was actually Smooth Rock, so... Whenever this thing comes back in, it can't take me on better. Goes Garchomp here. Uh, I think I just... Probably pop the Z-move here, is what I'm thinking. I can live with any Scarf attack except for Stone Edge. I'm expecting Stone Edge to come out here. I feel like I'm not. And, uh, because Torn, I mean, Torn is good against Amoongus and whatnot, but... I need to keep my Heatran alive to make sure that I don't have to put have anything else good to, to, to sleep. I'll go right for the Z-move. It is Mega Chomp, so... I'm gonna go down here if this doesn't Oko. And it's not gonna Oko, he's gonna go for Stone Edge and Miss. I was not going for the Miss at all, and I expected Stone Edge to come out, but... Damage on this giant threat is, uh, really good for me, so... It would've put it in range of Gran, as well as my own Guard Chomp. Uh, let me just make sure that U-Turn is not gonna kill here, which I'm assuming it doesn't. Tornadus versus Garchomp. Yeah, U-Turn's not going to kill. If I really want to click Hurricane, I can. I mean, something else is going to get blown back, and I was willing to sec Torn anyway, so... I'm going to go with my original plan, and I hit a Hurricane under Sand, while my opponent can't hit a Stone Edge, so... I mean, that's really unfortunate for my opponent, I know, but... Uh, Drill is going to come out now. This could go for a an SD, so I'll go right for U-Turn. Just to chip it down a little bit, and uh, with the SD up, definitely becomes a problem here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe my Bulu is the sack now. Either Bulu or I go guard jump and try to pivot out. Something like that. Uh, giant threat here. I'll go out into this. I wish I had protect, but scarf protect Bulu is not a thing. I'll go for wood hammer on uh, maybe my opponent will try to expect and, and uh, try to go for EQ on my Heatran. I'm going to go Heatran. Wow, I could have actually wood hammered that. That's insane. Really good play on my opponent's part right there. He knows that he has to get ahead somehow. Uh, okay, what am I doing now? I gotta sack another Pokemon because of that 50-50. And I actually feel as though keeping Gren could be good for... I mean, keeping Bulu for his Gren could be really nice. So, a little bit of a tough scenario here. What am I sacking next? Uh, Gren is still great. I mean, I just gotta weaken Amoongus. Mew is okay here. Yeah, Mew's fine. I still think I want Mew around, just to pressure the Amoongus if it needs to do that. I'm thinking I just go back to Bulu here, and... This time he gets to click Iron Head for uh, very little drawbacks. I'll go for Wood Hammer. Man, I should have gone with the Wood Hammer play originally. That's really unfortunate. Okay, so now I can't... I have to go Gran here because, unfortunately, Grassy Terrain is up. And uh, I'll go for the Surf. Yeah, I don't think my I think my opponent goes Amoongus every time. The way that I see myself winning this endgame right here is with my, my Mega Guard Chomp, so... I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do right here. I think Torn is the Sleep Fodder. Yep. And, uh, I just try to wake up here is what I'm thinking. I don't think there's anything I can do now, though. Like, I got lucky, but I'm still in the back, and... Unless my opponent gives me an opening with the Guard Chomp, I don't see what's gonna happen. Tries to go for a Stun Spore there, which I wasn't letting anything get paralyzed, man. In fact, I'm not going to let anything get paralyzed now. Okay, can I wake up against this? A knockoff on this would be huge for my guard chomp, so... I would I would take this any day. Uh, unfortunately, I don't wake up, and my opponent goes for heavy slam. So now i got to sack just to get this knockoff. I mean, I get the knockoff, but it's still in a, it still puts me in a really tough spot here. Gets a spidef boost. I have to go guard chomp, and... I have to mega evolve an SD right now. Which means i got to take an attack, and I don't think there's anything I can do to break through this team. Goes for a Elite Sheet right there. I'm thinking I just maybe SD up again. It probably has Protect. Uh, maybe it doesn't, actually. I'll go for Fire Fang. I don't know. What's my win con? Maybe uh, flinching him down? <laughs> Not a very good one. <laughs> maybe Mew can do it on his own, depending on what... I mean, I'm AV Mew, so I can take one hit from Gran. But uh, this is probably just an L. Yeah, he had Protect too, but he just clicked it. I just got the play wrong. Ah, that's that's frustrating. I'll click Fire Fang again. I need, it needs to Oko for me to have any chance here. Okay, well, he's giving me this, which is nice. And uh, I will actually double Fire Fang here. 
in the hopes that he might choke. It goes for rocks, actually. Yeah, I'll go Fire Fang again. If I was able to pressure Amoongus more, I would actually have an opening with my... He actually gives me the Pokemon. I would actually have an opening with my Mew here, but I don't think I have any opening now. Yeah, he knocks me out. I gotta go... Greninja. Hope I hit enough Shurikens, and then maybe Mew can 1v1 the rest. With Fire Blast and Psychic and all that. I don't think so. He should just go Amoongus here. But I'll cook Shuriken. Yeah, I'll click Shuriken here. Does Grunt eat an Earthquake? Greninja. Again, it's the Excadrill. It could. I'm just gonna click Dark Pulse, I think, or maybe Surf. What can I do? I'll go for Shuriken. Okay, I need four hits. Can I get the four at least? I get two. And, uh, I mean, the the thing's gonna go down, which is something, but I don't think this is gonna be enough by any means. Uh, in order to start this wave victory, I gotta get a Fire Blast off. My opponent goes hard Greninja, huh? I don't get that at all. I guess maybe he expected me to be set up? If I Volt Switched on that, I think I might have actually won the game, but now I can't. Because Celesteela knocks me out with Heavy Slam. Yeah, he expected me to be a Rock Polish, uh, set up win thing. But unfortunately, that's not my set. Goes back to this. Uh, I will Fire Blast this and knock it out. So Mew is getting some kills here, which is cool, I guess. But it's not going to be enough. I got to crit this, and then I don't even think Amoongus is going to die to Psychic. Yeah, these last two Pokemon can both 1v1 me. If I had Reliable Recovery, maybe. But I'll go for the Ice Beam Freeze. And uh, unfortunately, I did not get the Freeze right there, so... My opponent is able to go ahead and win the game. I mean, we got it pretty close towards the end right there, but not gonna lie, I kind of got beat down. It is what it is, though. I still hope that was a pretty enjoyable match, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, so I got the next game right here. My opponent wants Thousand Arrows banned, but they're not using any Thousand Arrows resists, so... I don't know what that is supposed to say right here, but Garchomp is gonna have a ton of fun. Wish I had a Zygarde, because that would just click Thousand Arrows through this entire game and win, but... I mean, he could lead off with Pelipper, and what that allowed me to do is lead off with my Mew here. He may scout with a Volt Switch, is what I'm thinking, but I'm hoping he doesn't, and I just Volt Switch out. That would be, like, really nice. I don't even know if Volt Switch is gonna Oko, which is the thing. <laughs> but what's the Switch in? Magirna? He stays in. And I get a crit, probably mattered. Uh, that's really bad, and there's the forfeit. I'm gonna put this in, just because I wanted that to happen since the beginning of the video. <laughs> Not cut how I saw it happening the entire game, but that guy was a lot higher than me on the ladder, so... I mean, yeah, after the rain just got sacked, he had no chance right there. I'm gonna calc, uh, just really quickly for you guys, whether that crit actually mattered. But I do want to throw this game in there, just because I, I think that was pretty funny. Uh, that is my Giraffe League Mew. Don't know why that's in here. Let's go ahead and calc a Volt Switch from Max Special Attack. That is a Volt Tackle. Volt Switch from Max Special Attack Mew. Uh, yeah, definitely mattered if he was Spadef. If he was any sort of offensive set, I always killed. So it uh, definitely kind of depends on what he was, because a lot of Pelippers run a lot more Fizz Def now, but... I mean, hey, Mew gets a kill and the guy forfeits, so I'll be right back with another game. Alright, so I just played that guy who I lost to at the Hippo Drill Team again, and... The reason I lost was because I unfortunately had my AVU Mew get flinched. I was in a winning position, too. I've all switched out and always lived the Dark Pulse, and then I would have been able to go ahead and... Kind of just go into the Guard Chomp, but unfortunately my Mew couldn't come through. It is what it is, though. Let's go ahead and play this one. That guy wasn't... Uh, that guy was a lot higher than me on the ladder, so I didn't lose too many points, thankfully. Let's go ahead and lead off here with... I mean, Grand goes in, besides Feeny. Bulu kind of has fun here, too. I'm thinking Thundee or Salamence could be a lead. I'll lead off with my Mew. Thundee lead. I'll take anything, so I'll click Ice Beam here on the Volt. Does uh, very not any damage, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Feeny comes out. I'll go for Volt here, as uh, damage on this thing is great for my Grand, so that's really nice. And I'll go, I'll pivot to Torn now. Calm Mind, ooh. What is this set though? Like, Calm Mind is not going to 1v1 me. Okay, now it might because he actually got the drop. So I'm going to U-turn out here to preserve. And bring in Bulu on the Hydro Pump, and uh... I mean, I just Horn Leech this. 
Mawal comes out. Uh, Heatran being healthy is nice, but I feel like I can let it take the damage. Okay, or it can just drop in one hit to that. That's that's fine. <laughs> Was not expecting that to come out, not gonna lie. I can go Mew here. Mew should take one Sucker Punch from this percentage, and I'll go for Fire Blast. My opponent wants to uh, give me this Feeny here, so I'll click Psychic just in case he tries to go out into that thing. Okay, cool. So we get rid of that Pokemon in exchange. This may go for a Banded V-Create. I'll go for Volt. I feel like this might be that Z-Set. Yeah, this goes for U-Turn. Okay. Yeah, I gotta keep my Garchomp healthy if I can, just to make sure it can deal with this Thunders. Which, uh, I'm assuming this Thunders is his Scarf and just came out now. Hidden Power Ice. And it does so much because I'm offensive. I'm clicking Scarf Woodhammer. Oh, he, he has Scarf. Okay. Hmm. Scarfed into HP Ice. Can bring this out now and uh, click Dark Pulse. As my opponent goes Victini, he's not double scarf. Brings out Mawile, but I'm just trying to set up this grand to win late game. Not sure how possible it is, but it could happen. Sack that off to the player off. Bring this Pokemon out now. Mega Evolve here. Actually, no, I'm not Mega Evolve here. And uh, just click EQ. He won't. He won't risk the torrent. The thing. I don't think he would ever do that. If he goes Heart Thunderous, that would be so bad, though. Like, why would you ever go Heart Thunderous? Yeah, give me that Pokemon. I'm glad you made the correct play, too. I should live anything from Thunderous if that does come out. Ments comes out. Uh, I'll Dragon Claw this. And uh, crit through the Ments. Not my intention. My intention was to put it in range of my Shuriken. This comes out next. Uh, I think I go Mew. On the Volt. So Victini is going to come out now. Uh, Victini might take my attack fairly well, but I think with the combination of these two Pokemon, I might be fine. Maybe I should just Psychic. I'm going to Volt out. I was kind of hoping I would lose a tie there. Okay, I let my Garchomp take the damage. Okay, he goes for U-turn. Uh, I think this might come down to a 50-50 with Thunders here. Crit on Mensa really sucks, though. Uh, this probably has HP Ice, is what I'm guessing. It's not Mega. Okay. So I may lose to Thunders, maybe. I don't know, it'll depend on how much damage I can do to this Victini. Because this should always live. And I've outsped this Victini every time. How much was I doing with the Volt Switch earlier? Oh, it's AV Victini. <laughs> uh, what's my best attack? This goes to 135, I think. This is going to be a really close game. Yeah, so this goes to 135, this is just... And then resisted, it goes down to... Pulse is just stronger. Yeah, it's not enough, unfortunately. So, uh, my Mew was consistently faster, but he's able to go ahead and win. Unfortunately, I did not have anything to hit Victini. Kind of an oversight when I was building this team. Uh, unfortunate I'll ride there, but that was a really close game. I had fun with that one, and I'll be right back with another game right now. Okay, so we got this Toxic Rook Rain team right here that I think Joey just did a video with. Uh, Greninja is a giant threat, and... I'm not going to bother to copy the team onto my thing right here and go off of it. I'm just going to plan to play the match right here and see what we can do. I'm going to try to catch this Pelipper just like the first time. Greninja leads. Okay, I'll go for Volt. I can live a Dark Pulse. And uh, that does absolutely nothing. I do get my Volt off, and that's going to do a huge amount of damage. And uh, what I can do now is just bring this Bulu out, and uh, I'm thinking Toxic Rook probably comes out here. So maybe what I want to do is double to my Torn. On uh, Magirna, actually. So I believe this was Assault Vest. I'll go for Knock Off here. Yeah, Knock Off the Vest on the Volt. I don't really care about Volt Switch. Getting that damage on Greninja is huge. Being able to pressure it with a lot of my Pokemon now. Brings out Swampert. I'll just drop the Z here. On the rocks. And uh, I'm not going to click the Defog yet. I need to really hope I hit this Hurricane, though. This Hurricane is huge because... It'll de first of all decide whether I get to knock out the Swampert, which is a giant threat to my team, as well as whether or not I'm going to be able to defog later. 
Okay, he doesn't play around with it. Good job on his part. I'm going to defog now and sack the Torn. He recognizes that Swampert's a giant win con, so that's okay with me. Yeah, knock me out, that's fine. And uh, what this allows me to do now is bring out my... I can bring out Heatran here. And uh, maybe just get up Rocks now. Yeah, Rocks are okay here. And I uh, don't know if this would have Taunt. I'm going to Taunt it. I mean, whether I'd have Defog. Okay, I did have Defog. Cool. Uh, he's going to go for probably a Water move here, so I'll go in a Mew. He actually did go for U-Turn. Kind of a tough play, because had I Magma Storm, I would have been fine, but... Now he gets to bring out this... the Swampert, and... My Bulu is offensive, unfortunately. It goes Grand, though. This, does this have Ice Beam? No, it goes for Spike, okay. I'm not too worried about Spike, I'll go for Horn Leech here. I'll reveal my Scarf, which is a little bit lame. Actually, it's, I'm not gonna reveal my Scarf, okay, cool. He's gonna go for Volt, but I'm gonna go Heatran on the off chance he wants to try to Flur Cannon on a Guard Chomp switch, which I would never go Guard Chomp here ever, that's a bad play. He tries to catch my... I actually don't know what he tried to catch there, but... Hmm. I can just Magma Storm, or maybe Earth Power here. He may try to pivot to... he just stays in, okay. So I'm slowly weakening this for my Gran. Unfortunately for my opponent, they missed the attack right there. Hmm. Okay, let's go for Earth Power again now. I'm kind of curious as to what this Zygarde is going to do. That's, like, really scary. Goes hard Zygarde. Uh, takes absolutely nothing. I gotta go Bulu on this in, att in an attempt at 1v1 right here. If it's, like, Dragon Dance Iron Tail, I probably just lose the game. 6-0, which would be very sad. Doubles to Pelipper. I have a Scarf Woodhammer coming your way, man. I have to Woodhammer, right? Yeah, I'm assuming I have to Woodhammer. Horn Leech is not going to do the job by any means. Okay, give me that Pokemon. I'm going to lose to Zygarde. <laughs> but I got rid of the Pelipper, which is uh, very beneficial for me. This is SD Ice Punch Toxic Rock. I do remember that. It can come out here too, because unfortunately my... He actually goes out into Magirno. I don't think this lives my attack, man. AV Mag against Bulu? Let's band it and get rid of the band. Yeah, no way. Huh? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I guess. Toxicroak can come out now. Go Swampert, actually. So this is going to go for Ice Punch. Uh, Heatran does nothing now, so I'll go Heatran here. On the Ice Punch. Takes a bit of damage there. Now I can just go right for the... Just suck this off to the waterfall, it's fine. I go Greninja here. And uh, I gotta figure out whether I want to make a double or not. Because this this Toxic Rogue had Soccer Punch, I think. I think it did. Or it might have been Gunk Shot, Ice Punch, Drain Punch? Was that the set? Ah, he goes Toxic Rogue. I should have made the double to Mew. Ah, that's that's really frustrating. Okay, what I, I see my win con here. It's with my Bulu. I gotta weaken a few things before that happens. I'll go Mew here on the SD, and uh, this can't. This does. This didn't have Sucker Punch unless he changed it. So I'll knock this out here. It actually has Sucker Punch now. I remember it being SD Ice Punch Drain Punch Gunk Shot. Yikes! That could actually be the difference between me winning and losing. I'll bring this out though and click Earthquake because I know I can take one Sucker Punch. I believe. Actually, I, I shouldn't Mega Evolve in case it's Jolly Zygarde. He really made a Sucker Punch, man. Okay, he goes Zygarde, actually. So this could have E-Speed. I'll just Dragon Claw here. So he's trying to not lose to my Bulu. Yeah, so give me that Pokemon. Greninja's gonna come out now. Uh, against Greninja, I think I go out into my own Gren here, on Hydro Vortex. I just always click Shuriken, I think. Mm, I could guarantee the game right now by just doubling to my Garchomp. Okay, unfortunately I got that wrong, but I can still bring out Scarf Bulu here and click Horn Leech. What does Morta Toxicroak? Horn Leech or Megahorn? 
I always forget the typing between bug and poison. Bulu banned against Toxicroak. I need to figure out what I'm hitting this with. OUSD. Okay, that's actually doing a lot. Hold up. Uh, if I click Woodhammer here, I'm not banded though. That is not. Oh, that is not a banded Bulu. But that's adamant. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna call it Jolly. Okay, so if I Woodhammer here, that's just a normal Bulu's Woodhammer to Toxic Rogue and Grassy Terrain. It goes down. So give me that Pokemon. His play now should be to go Swampert first because it dies to everything. <laughs> like, just get me, just get the recoil and then try to go Toxic Rogue. Does go Toxic Rogue? I always Woodhammer. Do the... I got a crit. I was not going for the crit, but I think I won that game anyway. Mega Garchomp would never die to plus two Sucker Punch, and we're able to go ahead and win. He had to Gunk Shot there, and had he actually gone for the SD, I would have two-hit KO'd him with my uh, Woodhammer. So that's what I was going for right there. We saw that Woodhammer was definitely two-hit KO'ing him under Grassy Terrain, so I would have won the game there regardless of that crit, and we're able to go ahead and come out on top. And I'll be right back with another game. Okay, I got the next game right here. Probably going to be our last game for the Alive. Really had fun with this team, actually. I've loved using Mega Garchomp. Although, I think I only Mega Evolved in that one game against the Celesteela. I'm going to lead off here with my Mew, because it actually pressures this team quite nicely. Mega Medicham leads right now, so... Just going to go ahead and Volt Switch turn one. I think he'll fake out. He actually just goes hard Heatran, okay, so... Cool with me, I get some momentum out of here. I can pressure him with Heatran, or I can go Gren. He has two Gren checks, I would rather just go for the he the Garchomp right here. And I'm um, thinking what I'll do is just go for maybe an SD. This goes insane. Huh? What was that play? Goes Bulu now. This is going to drop to Fire Fang every time. And I'm Mega Evolving now, I don't care. Like, I know I need the speed for Medi, but do I, do I have to Mega Evolve here to knock this out? Bulu. Let's say it's uh, just an XHP set. Yeah, not too much of defense. Let's put a bit of defense in there just in case. So let's put in Mega Garchomp and then make the attack 130. Yeah, I need to Mega Evolve. Okay, I'm getting power predicted right here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> he should know Earthquake's coming out and it's going to blow him away, but I'll click it anyway. I want to start playing offensively. Like, this guy's just making the obvious switch, and it's working out. Okay, no. I'm not going to do it there. He's played offensively too many times. Yeah, this is what was annoying, because now I'm kind of forced out here, and uh, I don't have a good answer. Me was still fine in the late game right here. I don't see myself sucking that. Bulu is my Keldeo check. Heatran is my Magearna check. Torn. He has a Zapdos and a Magearna. It's my Bulu check, though. I'm thinking because he has Keldeo and Bulu, I'll go out here into my Greninja on a high jump kick. That's okay with me. Allows me to bring out my Tornadus now, and I'm thinking he may try to go for an Ice Punch here on a potential Defog, so I'll just go for Super Sonic Sky Strike. Goes Mag, and it's uh, definitely AV. AV Mag, I don't think Oko's me with Flare Cannon because of its no special attack investment. And yeah, I'll live that too. Go for U-Turn here, and bring out my Heatran. On the Volt, so he's about to hit me up with the Medicham again. <laughs> and um, now I just sack off my Torn, I think. Yeah, take my Torn. I go Mew now. And uh, I get to go right here for a nice. I'm thinking Fire Blast into the Magear now could work. Now, what I do is I just. I'm just probably gonna click Fire Blast again, so I'll just go for Fire. I mean, Volt is what I'm thinking. Goes for that again, okay. So if I can hit this, I might knock him out. Uh, I got a lower roll, unfortunately. Sucks to take this damage is what I'm kind of trying to figure out here. No burn. That's uh, that's a good start. I'll double to Heatran here on the Zapdos slash Magearna. Uh, I'm thinking get up my rocks now. Nah, I can't actually do that. I should have gone for the KO because he gets on Medi now. I gotta hope he misses. Okay, well, I already got the damage I need on Magearna, so I just stay in here. On that, yeah, I should have not. I shouldn't have mega evolved my guard champ. That was a huge mistake. Sex off the mag. Okay, I got some nice grassy terrain recovery, which is cool. Uh, what comes out now? Zapdos, Bulu. So Bulu is a problem. 
I'll go here into my Mega Garchomp. And um, I'm thinking this Fire Fang it. Goes Keldeo on that Fire Fang, okay. Always to Bulu, once again, I really gotta hope I don't get burnt, but I do. Uh, still gotta try to double around them if I can. So I get this in on the Zapdos, which is nice. Click Ice Beam here. Don't do too much, but he doesn't do too much back to me, so I'm able to Ice Beam again now. Knock that out. Bulu is gonna come back out. I'll Volt out here into my... Burnt Bulu on the Horn Leech. Go for a, a Wood Hammer here, I guess. For all it's worth. Uh, that shouldn't make a difference. Okay, that makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes a difference. I'll go for I'll go into this here and then hope my Mew can 1v1 the rest, which it's not going to. Okay, now this should be in range of my Fire Blast, so I'll go ahead and try to hit that. Maybe I can take a hit from both. <laughs> I mean, I've put myself in this position. I got a Crit of Psychic too. Goes for Ice Punch. Do I Crit? Doesn't even matter if I do. Yeah, he's able to go ahead and win. One both speed ties, but I mean, it wasn't going to make a difference. Still a close game right there. Unfortunately, we end up finishing 3-3 three and three for the live, which I was really thinking this team could go positive, but unfortunately, that was not able to work out. Still had a ton of fun, though. AVME was definitely able to take some hits from Gren, which is very cool. Did you guys see it take 45% from Dark Pulse when it wasn't Specs? That was very funny, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the live, of course. This team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out, and I'll see you next time. Later.